engineering timelines over those of media scandals, containing given Honda predicament which consists of Al new tech diesel engine. The company's decision to formulate a next-generation ultra-clean turbo diesel is made well before Volkswagen was caught getting its cheat on, even so the finished 1.6-litre inland for reviewed within the Honda Civic is reaching its marketplace in Europe equally demands slumps for compression ignition engines, thanks mostly to the diesel get scandal. High's fuel economy on par with probably the most abstemious hybrids, admirable refinement, engaging stick shift. Low zero half hatch aspirations, zero possibility of coming for the United States. Two damaging Honda, that has been suffering in Europe for many years. Sales within the continent fell to only 140,000 not too long ago, a lot more than 50% below the peak reached in 2007 and fewer than a tenth products the brand manages within the similarly sized US market. But it's another shame as the new engine is possibly seen by historians of later internal combustion, looking back decades from now, as representing the pinnacle of diesel technology. Modest power this just isn't one of those high-performance diesels which have wooed us from the past. The 1.6-litre ATEX power output is barely one-fourth it on the triple-boosted V8 TDI fitted to your Audi SQ7 along with the diesel Bentley Bentayga. A motor that continues to be heralded as another pinnacle with a compression ignition craft. In the Eurospec Civic hatchback, the Atex headline figures are 118 horsepower and 221 lbft of torque, with Honda claiming a 9.8 second sprint from 0 to 62 miles per hour and also a 125 miles per hour top speed. The only gasoline Eurospec Civic that this had tech as a possibility of beating in a very stoplight showdown may be the base turbocharged 1.0 litre three cylinder yes, that is the thing. For reference, the 2.2 litre Rickdy turbo diesel that Honda considered selling inside the United States and which we tested 10 years ago produced a top notch 138 horsepower and 251 lbft of torque. But the brand new engine isn't about firepower, instead emphasizing efficiency and emissions. And on those measures, it truly is almost unbeatable. Europe's NEDC fuel economy figures are notoriously optimistic, hence the Civic Tech's official figure of 67 miles per gallon combined when transformed into US gallons is advisable seen as a ways of comparison along with other cars as opposed to an indicator of real world performance. That number is identical to your one Toyota claims to the 2018 Prius, plus it does increase the risk for Civic one of probably the most efficient cars accessible in Europe. More impressive is which the Civic is able to pass the stringent new Euro 60 temp emission standard, a year prior to its implementation. That standard uses real-world testing to be sure emissions of NOx and particulates don't go above 2.1 times the permitted laboratory values during everyday use. For reference, a written report from 2015 suggested that some diesels emit around 14 times their official NOx levels out about the road. Honda has been able to achieve this target devoid of the added cost or complexity of your urea injection system. Instead, the attack receives a close coupled NOx storage catalyst as well as a diesel particulate filter inside the exhaust. These capture undesirable particulates and replicate our fusing force regeneration through added fuel if your exhaust temperature isn't sufficient. The new engine boasts had its efficiency boosted with the aid of steel pistons as an alternative to aluminium to boost heat dispersion, a low friction timing chain, a high efficiency variable edgeometry turbocharger and smoother cylinder bores on account of dosage honing. The die-cast aluminium block is designed to be stiffer compared to the previous generation engine, as it moves the resonances to decrease frequencies and reduces noise using a claimed 3 decibels at 2000 revolutions per minute. Last of its kind the truth is an anti-climax, but worth keeping. From the driver's seat, the Civic Air Tech just is like an exceptionally refined diesel. The sole significant evidence it's not enough spark plugs will be the narrow power band. There's limited enthusiasm and noticeable turbo lag below 2000 revolutions per minute, using the engine beginning to feel tight above 4000 revolutions per minute. But within its mid-range, the engine pulls happily despite little throttle. 
a six-speed manual gearbox will be the only transmission choice. European buyers of budget diesels don't resist shifting his or her gears, with the well-weighted clutch plus an accurate shifter so that it is easy to achieve smooth progress. Refinement could be the attack's most impressive quality, especially because of the challenge of not standing out within the already quiet Civic. At idle, it's fractionally louder than its gasoline siblings, and it truly is possible to feel small amounts of telltale diesel vibration from the steering wheel and also the gear shift. But once the vehicle is moving, the engine doesn't look like louder than any gasoline-fueled Civic power plant, nor will it sound coarse when whipped towards the 4,900 revolutions per minute limiter. The rest in the driving experience feels predictably close to those of the regular Civic, using the same light but accurate steering, well-damped ride, and respectable but unexceptional grip levels. It's no diesel hot hatch because a tech feels markedly less enthusiastic as opposed to 1.5D Civic, despite a fatter torque curve, at least below 4,000 revolutions per minute. But the Civic easily kept up with Italian traffic on our drive route near Rome, having a free-flowing stretch on the autostrada confirming that it's going to sit happily in an indicated 90 miles per hour having to break a sweat. We didn't drive far enough running our own fuel economy numbers. But after 60 miles test cars trip computer reported 45 miles per gallon. Given our rapid progress, that probably represents a worst case scenario. There is little chance that Hyundai will sell its new engine anywhere beyond Europe, company executives admit so it likely is definitely the last diesel it is going to develop. Diesels still composed 45% of European passenger car sales recently but that percentage is falling rapidly and it is disproportionately constructed of cars bigger versus the Civic. Within a technology generation, the situation for spending the funds necessary to produce another Alnia diesel to get a minority player such as the Civic will likely be gone. But it truly is fitting for this type of engineering old company that, despite its modest output, this little diesel really should be remembered as one with the pinnacles of the genre.